Reki switch to Godot? The biggest name every Unity developer knows now diving into a different game engine. What does this mean for us, the Unity community? And should we switch the game engine? Recently, Unity was in the spotlight not for features, but for a controversial communication. This, coupled with Brackis exploring Godot, has sparked a lot of discussion. As someone who has been working with Unity for years, I'm taking a closer look at what Godot offers and considering the big question to switch or not to switch. Let's start by examining Godot's strongest advantages its open-source nature, cost-effectiveness, and user-friendly design. The biggest point that everyone is talking about is that Godot is fully open-source, making it ideal for those who are keen to explore and adjust its code. It benefits from global collaboration, which fosters rapid enhancements and innovation. But let's be clear, I'm a game developer, not an engine developer. For me, what really matters are the features an engine has ready to use immediately, not just the potential to tweak its code. The crucial question then is, how does Godot compare to Unity right now? Let's talk about the costs. Godot is entirely free, thanks to its open source nature. This is ideal for indie developers aiming to keep expenses low without worrying about future financial concerns. Unity, on the other hand, is free until your game earns over $100,000. The Pro subscription, which includes Advanced Analytics, Unity Mars, and Havoc Physics, becomes relevant only if you're generating significant revenue. I've managed well without these features, fully utilizing Unity within the free tier. For me, it's a fair setup that still supports growing developers. I've given Godot a fair shot, and while it's often praised for being user-friendly, I found it to be less intuitive than Unity, particularly for 3D projects. The tools and workflows for 3D in Godot can be challenging, lacking the polish and depth of features available in Unity. For my projects, where robust 3D support is crucial, making a switch between engines is a significant decision influenced heavily by the maturity of the 3D capabilities. Now, let's dive into the world of assets. The Unity Asset Store is an absolute treasure trove for developers like myself, especially when I'm prototyping or managing solo projects. It's a powerhouse packed with a diverse array of resources that can slash development time dramatically. In contrast, when I explored the Godot marketplace, it simply couldn't hold a candle to Unity's offerings. While someone is busy exploring Godot's open-source kitchen, I'm already serving up projects with all the ready-made tools Unity has on the menu. Consider stability and community support. Godot is growing, which is great, but that comes with frequent updates and changes that can disrupt project continuity. Unity, meanwhile, has shifted towards long-term support versions, which is crucial for ongoing projects. Plus, Unity's community is vast, with extensive learning resources and professional support. So, will I switch to Godot and leave Unity behind? Definitely not. Unity allows me to create high-quality games efficiently, which is essential in the fiercely competitive mobile gaming market. While I admire Godot and recognize its potential, especially for hobbyists or smaller teams, Unity remains my choice for professional development. If you enjoyed this detailed comparison between Unity and Godot, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for ongoing game development insights. Also, explore my channel for reviews of Asset Store plugins, offering further guidance and recommendations. 